All right, so what's going on, guys? So I've got something a little different for you today. I've actually got a product review. Now, now when I bought this, I didn't get these um, to do a review. Um, it just kind of happened that way. Uh, so what happened was, just an update on the car, is, so I installed the new, turn my light on. I installed new injectors, um, which actually raised the fuel rail up. So in raising the fuel rail up, they actually hit. Like, so when I installed the new injectors, because these ones are these ones are taller than the STI injectors, it actually raised it up into the throttle body and right into this extra piece um, over here. And it was actually hitting on this side because of course, so of course, if you watch my head swap video, you saw that me and Trey already modified this. Um, a little bit to clear because it was already hitting the fuel rail like was, which stops you from going full throttles like i was actually averaging according to evo scan uh like 47 percent which is the most you could open the throttle body um so without hacking this up a whole lot more i kind of use this as an excuse to buy these so what i have here is two throttle bodies this is a s90 throttle body that came from stm and this is a full-blown uh 70 millimeter throttle body so this one like i said was brand new this one i actually picked up uh, pre-owned i guess it was a customer return from um, on ebay from full blown i'm gonna go ahead and get these opened up so of course my plan wasn't really to buy two throttle bodies i was initially just looking for one to solve my issue here with the clearance and i noticed that these are a little bit of a smaller profile um than this outlander one of course I, and of course i went on ebay the first thing i found was this full blown one um i noticed it had been on there for a while because i've seen it before so i made the guy an offer which is like 60 bucks less than his asking price and he accepted it of course i was excited about it i you know i was excited to get the new throttle body then i started really doing my research on the full blown and noticed that people um were having some problems with them like mainly them cracking if you tighten the t-bolt down like when you go to a attach your intercooler piping or whatever and like and some people suggested just using a worm clamp which i'm sure will be fine but i really rather use uh you know my t-bolts so that led me to the s90 throttle body and of course s10 which actually had the best price at the time so i think that's enough talking i'm gonna save you the boredom of watching me cut these open and just you know cut back to the boxes open so of course now i've got them unpackaged you see the s90 comes in a much more appealing box um because it's s90 across the top it's clear even though i don't know why this is clear and all you can see is cardboard behind it uh you know but whatever and the full blown just comes in this white box now i'm not sure now if you can see that it actually says on it that they recommend not to use a t-bolt clamp so it seems that all those uh complaints that people were having about this are warranted and even they recognize it so instead of just making the product a little bit better um, they just said don't do it so that's that's kind of crappy in my opinion um but anyway i'm gonna go ahead and get this one open first and then we're gonna go with this one all right so i did save you the boredom of watching me unpackage it just to make you watch me unpackage it again um but either way so it looks like it comes this is probably how you get it so it actually comes with the hardware you get these uh hex bolts here like probably stainless steel hardware they actually look nice a nice gasket it's pretty thick and then of course the throttle body itself so it looks like it was as advertised again this came from uh full blown's ebay site and inside of course we have the throttle body so overall it looks like a pretty nice piece it looks uh, relatively clean i don't see any heavy like scarring or anything on it but right off the bat i can tell this thing doesn't weigh a whole lot uh, which is not really a problem but i can tell that this this lip here isn't made out of much it feels really thin so i can see how somebody could easily crack this so of course this one does have the provisions for your factory sensors uh, to mount right too and of course the action seems pretty fluid there it's not hanging up or anything so so overall it looks like a pretty decent piece now let's get the s90 opened up i'm so i have a washer here that just kind of fell out oh there's nothing else in here i always hate opening stuff like this because i end up getting mad and just ripping it apart so right off the bat i have some a nut and a washer now, I'm not sure where they go yet. They're just kind of sitting in the box. I have this, which I assume this is supposed to be my gasket. This is like a piece of cardboard. I'm probably not going to use this. This looks pretty flimsy. It has the hardware. Okay, so that's where it came from. So it's actually mounted to this uh, cardboard piece. I'm not really sure why they would do that. So that's where this washer and this nut came from, just the back of this. I'm not sure why they would mount it to a piece of cardboard. Like This kind of just came in you know, a little bag um, somewhere else in the box. But whatever. Let's go take these off. 
and it says the hardware is already mounted in this thing. I guess just because of the design, just because of the design of the, uh, just because of the design of the throttle body, these bolts are actually quite a bit shorter. But again, you still have what appears to be stainless steel. They are hex bolts. So first impressions, this thing is a lot heavier, and it doesn't feel nearly as brittle, especially around here. Now, this is not something I'm really going to be able to explain. When I pick this up, this feels very brittle and very delicate, uh, whereas this doesn't. This feels solid. Like I don't think I will be able to break this. So just like the full blown. Um, the S90, you can run your stock sensors on. So all performance aside, the one thing this does have on the full blown is just the bling factor. Um, this thing just looks really nice. It looks like it's really just two pieces of billet aluminum. Right, so if you're looking for engine bay dress up, uh, the S90 wins hands down. So of course it is engraved on top with the S90 logo. Now when both of these are brand new, this is just going off um, STM's websites because prices vary uh, at the time of buying this anyway. Full blown is actually more expensive than the S90. Now, like I said, these are both 70 millimeters, um, but this one is actually available in a 74 millimeter. Something to consider too is that while this is available in a 74 millimeter, like if you're running a stock intake manifold, this is still even overkill, especially if you don't have any plans to upgrade. Um, because really when you're upgrading your throttle body, it's not gonna do you a ton of good unless you also like port match the intake manifold. Um, I'm now I do plan on upgrading my intake manifold. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna slap this on. Uh, Cause I'm not really doing this uh, for pure performance gains. It's more to try to fix a problem. So now actually I'm gonna grab the Outlander throttle body so we can. So if you didn't want to run either one of these two, um, you can pick up the Outlander or the Evo throttle body. They're both 60 millimeters, whereas the stock one is 54. Um, the only difference really is that the Outlander allows you to run uh, your cruise control. So again, this one got from the junkyard. It kind of they kind of threw it in with a bunch of other stuff I was buying at the time. Um, the Evo throttle body I've seen it go from anywhere from fifty to hundred bucks. Uh, whereas both of these, um, this one I got for under two hundred. This one was over two hundred. So of course, websites don't really list the dimensions of these throttle bodies. I'm hoping that this will solve my issue uh, with it bumping against the fuel rail. So as I'm doing my best to line them up, the full blown. I think is actually smaller than the S90 as far as the way it extends. Um, it appears, like, so whereas the S90 is actually a little bit bigger than the full blown. So, so we're gonna see which one fits. Um, and that's gonna be the one I keep. I'm really hoping that the S90 will fit because it just feels sturdier, especially around here. And it allows me to run a T-bolt. And again, just the underhood bling factor. I do like the way it looks. Um, that bill of aluminum looks better than the cast aluminum. A side note, if you were to buy this and you were to break um, this opening here, you could fix it. Uh, you could weld this. Again, I'm not sure why this product has been out for a long time, why they wouldn't have done something to beef this up, seeing as how they know it's a problem clearly by the box. But I guess, again, they took the laser way out and just slapped the sticker on it as opposed to actually doing, you know, something to actually fix the problem. So now I'm going to break up my scale and we're going to see how much these weigh. All right, so I got my shipping scale out. Go ahead and get it turned on. And first, we're going to weigh the factory throttle body and sensors. So like we're even at 2 pounds and 11 ounces. That's with the sensors. Now we're gonna weigh the S90, about two pounds, three ounces for the S90. And the full blown, like, so the full blown comes in at one pound and about 13 ounces. So about a full pound less. They definitely could have beefed this up. But with that said, I feel like this would be a good option for an NA build. Uh, that way you won't have to worry about using a T-bolt clamp and potentially crushing this because um, you don't have the actual the actual boost pressure and a traditional worm clamp will work. And it is lighter, so of course, uh, when you're going with an NA, you know, you're pro if you're going with an NA build, you're probably considering power to weight ratio. Um, again, it's an easy pound to shave off right there. Then I'm going to get my calipers. We want to test these. Stock one first. And of course, you're really measuring the, the blade of the throttle by it. But the opening on this is 63.75 millimeters. Comes in at 71.38. And the S90. Actually, a little bit smaller. It is... 17.07 just at the inlet on the back side of the full blown is actually only 69.89 so it ta does taper down quite a bit and the s90 is 69.84 of course on the stock one just for giggles looking at 61.76 so i'm gonna go ahead and put this on the car i'm gonna start with the s90 because this is what i want to use and i hope it clears um, like i said it's not as small or smaller profile as the the full blown one is all right, so of course, it's on the throttle, but it's not difficult. It's just four bolts and a couple plugs. So now this is going to be a close fit. 
but it looks like it should be fine. So it looks like it's still close. It's literally within a, like a couple millimeters. I'm not sure. So I'm gonna get between the bolt. That's it right there. So there's a little gap between here, but I can open my throttle all the way. So it clears just enough. So I'm not gonna bother test fitting the uh, full blown. Probably gonna either send that back. It's in, it's installed. It looks amazing. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and change that coupler out. You can use a three inch coupler on these. Um, so I end up not needing that Mishimoto one. I'm just gonna use one of the ones that came with the kit. So anyway, I'll update you guys on how this thing performs and how it lasts on this motor, how my build goes. Um, thank you for watching my videos. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Make sure you subscribe to my channel to follow the build of my all-wheel drive turbo galant here. And I'll catch you guys later.